Hey guys, what's going on? It's April here, and today we're going to be taking a look at pretty much every single map. We are going to cover over where to go for long shots. This was requested by a subscriber of mine. Thank you so much for reaching out about that. I'm happy to do this for you. If you guys have anything else that you want to see me cover, ask. I may be able to very well cover it for you and give you guys some tips, so hopefully this helps you. We're going to go through every single map. I may not have the camera on whenever I go through them. I'll mark the maps as I go through them, but apart from that, thank you guys for all the support recently. We're on the road to 200 subscribers right now, so if you like this kind of content, if you like tips and tricks, if you like Call of Duty in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I make content on it all the time. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you are ready for the remastered version of Modern Warfare 2. The only thing that I'm not looking forward to is a certain sad sad scene that is in it. You've played it, you know what happened, but for anybody new, any of the new generation that hasn't played it yet, and the remastered is going to be the first thing that you play, yeah, you're in for it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. Another quick reminder is that I do stream on Twitch. I'm normally going to be there on the weekends. My internet connection is not the best, so you will see that the quality is not as great as you will probably see here. I also kind of switch between cameras, this is a webcam, I have a regular DSLR to go with that too. The reason why it's not so great is they are currently working on putting fiber in my area and we don't have it yet, that or I have to move, so make it that what you will. I'm still there to hang out, if you guys want to go check that out, come hang out with me, everything like that. Anyway, on to the video. I'm not going to put any bots on it or anything, I'm going to cover the typical 6v6 maps. If you're going for long shots, I do recommend Hardcore because it is much easier to get them. I actually haven't messed with Atlas yet, so I'm going to add that in, but I'm going to have to look and see where the best spots are going to be. And we're going to start, we're going to go to Azir Cave. I may go ahead and try to cover some of these 6v6 maps that you don't even normally come across. Normally, normally I get Piccadilly and Azir cave and like gunrunner and hackney yard i don't see any of the other maps most of the time or anything like that depending Same on what mode match. you play anything like that you're Shotgun. gonna want to go Let's hunt. up here this is an obvious spot everything like that because you have a long line of sight another good spot is here in the middle by rug shop looking right down here another spot that you might be able to get be right here looking at this because people always like to go peek it with sniper rifles there. Likewise on this side of the map you can peek here, look there. This you'd have to probably be in the very back for it to be a long shot. It's hit or miss on that but definitely from this range you're gonna get long shots if you peek somebody here as well as being right here to get a shot all the way over there when people come through at the beginning of a match most of the time. Another place that you could go from that spawn is over here to see if anybody's coming this way from that spawn. Probably get a good shot there. And on the other side, the house that's in the very back of the spawn over there, you can see this area too. Just on the other side. Those are really the best places to get long shots on Azir Cave, so we're going to switch to the next one now. Next is going to be Crash, so we're going to hop into that. So of Team course, one thing that you can do being over here, Attack. run into this building, try to peek people coming this way over here, like in that building, or people over here. But another good place to be is right here, looking, because somebody almost always comes over here, at least at the very beginning of the match. Rooftops with long lines of sight are always going to help you out, as well as being all the way back here, maybe if you catch somebody coming out of spawn. And likewise, coming this way, you can watch up here for people to be running out of spawn, catch them up there, that'll definitely be a long shot. Things like that, that's that's really what you want to go for on this one. Or maybe from back here, looking at this window, because somebody normally always goes up there too. If you can catch people up top from all the way over here, that'll probably be a pretty good one as well. Guns at this range, you're going to want to make sure that you have the recoil control perks on them, all the good attachments, because elsewise... You're going to be all over the place. You can control it some, but especially at that range, if you're playing hardcore, which is what I recommend, all every single shot is going to matter. Next is going to be Gonzo Raid, so we're going to hop in there. Naturally, on this side, you're going to have snipers trying to take it over, so make sure you have a good scope on your gun. You'll be fine. Just take the first shots at them, everything like that. This is a good spot. Vice versa, if you're on that side, you come over to that one with a staircase over there. If somebody happens to be up here, you can get long shots like that. Or if you go into the spawn building on this side of the map, you can see downstairs in that one. 
Normally somebody will try to peek that. From here to the top part of that, if somebody just happened to stay in spawn, anything like that, you should be able to get a long shot on them. Hardcore is really, really good for Likewise with this line of sight over here, anybody over there that comes up. Just reverse it if you get the other side spawn. Next is going to be Gunrunner. Okay, so if you get this side of the map over here, what you get them to do Enemy threats is to the just AI pop up. Hot. You can see right here where somebody almost always goes, and they won't be expecting you up this far. Likewise, you can hop up on the forklift, come up here, jump, jump, see down into their spawn over here, and right here. It gives you a wide range of view. You can even hop over to this roof, come over here. Or if you're coming down this way, you can see all the way over here. Three or four shots should be good in hardcore mode, which is why I recommend it. It makes it easier. It is easier to die as well, though. Another good spot is if you're in the other spawn, like right over here, you jump on that, come up here, and walk along this pipe. You can see all this area. And just honestly, if you're back here by the spawn tree, right here, this will be long shots as well. Anybody up there, probably right there too. Maybe even up there if you see somebody. It just depends on the people that you're playing against as well. Alright, Hackney Yard's gonna be next. Hackney Yard is one of my personal favorites for getting long shots. Because there's a lot of places where you can be up and you can see people. So if you're on this side, you can come over here to this building. You can see all the way back in there, or if somebody's up on the roof. But you can also look this way if somebody climbs up there. And in that little door right there. Another place that you can go is in the spawn. You hop up out here, you can climb up right here, get a clear view to where people like to snipe over there, that door, that window, that window. You have a lot of areas that are far away that you can see pretty clearly. Likewise, if you're on the other side, you have this yellow building right here. You can see that window, that door. You can see those doors over there where people like to camp in the office, all that kind of stuff. And of course you can hop up here like all the snipers like to do. Come out here, you can see back into the spawn on both sides of that building. People go to hardcore for their long shots a lot, so you'll run into quite a few people doing the same thing you are. Condor Hideout is another one that I'm not really familiar with, it just came out like a day or two ago. What I can say for that one is you're gonna have to try to get up high on one side and look all the way down the other side, either on one of the sides or straight down the middle. That's really all there is for that one that I can tell so far. If that changes, I'll make a video on that one specifically and update you on that. Next one that we're gonna do though is Piccadilly. So if you get the spawn Team death over match. on this corner, Enemy threats in the AI. Weapons hot. you can look right over here along the buses. Somebody will normally come over there. Again, you'll normally want to have at least some sort of scope when you're doing this. You could also come on top of the bus, look here. Another good place to go is a scaffolding, normally looking over this way to that window right here. If you get a good line of sight from here, you'd probably get long shots. Or if you're along this side over here by the library, if you look right there, you can probably get some. Anybody coming out that way to go across to that building, the courtyard. Likewise, if you want to come over here to the courtyard, go up in this building. It's a bit campy, but to get certain camos, you have to play campier. From this room, you can see into the spawn room right there. It's not really where they spawn, but it's where a lot of people run out at. You can see if they come out over here, and you can see the scaffolding right there. People will target you if you use this room, though. It's to be expected, but be fair warned. Most of the long shot areas I'm sure you're seeing, it's basically you want to be up high. So if you get, get the spawn out. on this Time side, you can come up here. Should be long shots there. If you jump down, anything over there should be long shots. If you come back here to spawn and you shoot somebody that's in that window, that should be a long shot. As well, this little arcway right here, that should be long shots. Hardcore is super good for long shots, I can't say it enough. From here to there, maybe even from a little bit back here to right here, to that window. I do know that if you're all the way back here by this crate, anything in that window will be long shots. So we're gonna go to Shoot House because I actually do have some spots for that map. And we're gonna keep going on! Here Naturally, for this one, Attack. you're gonna wanna go to this spot. <laughs> That's one of the best ones. They'll peek that wall over there. If you can't get the spot, though, one place that you can go is on this Jeep right here on the side. 
you can see all the way down that lane. Definite long shots there. I've done that quite a few times. Even if you want to get this car right here, you can hit that window. People will try to pick that window so that they're not outside right there. And if they do that, you can still hit them through that. And both of those will be long shots. If you come over here, you can see all the way across to that and vice versa if you're on that side. That's the way it goes on any of these. And naturally, if you're all the way back, all the way over there should be a long shot. It's mostly about high ground and knowing how to maneuver around the map to keep yourself in a position to get long shots. So we've got St. Petrograd left and vacant. So we're gonna hop in here. So if you get the spawn, just hop up on the car. Snipers come up here all the time. Get close enough, you can see on top of that building which people like to peek. You can also see along the buses along the middle part there. Anything in that area should be long shots. If you come over here, this might be a long shot, but it is a little bit short range. But for sure, if you come down here and you're peeking around that car right there, you are definitely gonna get a long shot. It's just the long lines of sight that you need to be able to get them. Now from this side, you can hop up here, a line of sight over here somewhat. And then if you come over here to the other peeker's spot for the snipers, or that snipers normally go to, you can see the lane just like you could on the opposite side. You can jump over here too to get a little bit more clear around the back vehicles. Or if you just want to be super campy, you can just come all the way back here and wait for people to come like right there. You can wait for people to kind of come around this area or on the other side of the buses right here. And I'm sure it's obvious by now, but any of these spots that I go to, if I don't show the other spawn side you trace it from where I was whatever spot I was looking from is a spot that you would be in just on the opposite side so if you spawn out if you're on this spawn what I would Team probably Death recommend Mag. is coming over here inbound, lock and load. kind of getting in a cheeky spot like that to look back there or if you can get a shot from maybe here maybe you could probably you could probably get a long shot from there the only other place that I can think of that you might be able to get one is if you're like all the way back here looking at this door or window and then like I said if you come from the other spawn it's just the exact opposite but yeah that's gonna do it for the video guys hopefully I, I tried to cover every single map that I could again Atlas and the new map that just came out I don't normally play those I don't even see them come up in rotation a lot for me so if you get those maps just go to the spots where you can see for a long way and you should be fine if this did help you or you do like this kind of content go ahead and be sure to leave a like Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this because I post all of the time. I am soon to be posting the newly remastered Modern Warfare 2. I'm super excited about that. I'm not excited about certain parts because that makes me very, very sad, but I am also prepared to have my heart ripped out. If you've played the original one, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't. If this helped you out, please leave a like on it if I haven't already said that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy, and as always, I will see you in the next one.